So as I mentioned earlier, we have a group of special people present among us. These are people that work hard with the Ottawa Muslim community to build bridges. So I'd like to call David McGinty, Member of Parliament for Ottawa South Community, <laughs> representing the Police Chief of Ottawa, Mark Ford, the Ottawa Police Diversity Superintendent, Dave Zacharias, <laughs> MPP John Fraser, West Nepean MP Anita Vandenbeld, <laughs> Nepean MP Chandra Arya, and on behalf of OCDSB, Donna Blackburn. Also, at this time, I would like to call upon a few members or presidents that are pre present in the hall from the UMAG members. Rahimuddin Saeed from SNMC, Muhammad Mustafa from AMA, Amy Awad from MAC, Moeen Siddiqui from KMA, Ahmad Ibrahim from OMA, Rahim Agmal from ISG, Abdul Karim Widhiri from Gatino Mosque, Ihsan Sadu from Jami Omar, Tosif Patel from Masjid Bilal, Yvonne Balad from ICC, and Abdul Hakim Barakat from Islamic Society of Sandy Hill. Please give them a round of applause. Islam, learn, engage, achieve, and develop. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for having us today. It's an honor and it's a privilege to be here this afternoon to address the ILEAD conference right here in my electoral district of Ottawa South. I'm also delighted to be here in my capacity as chair of the government's National Capital Region Caucus. We are 12 MPs together, responsible for 18 electoral districts on both sides of the river. And I'm more than delighted and pleased to be joined this afternoon by two of my colleagues, Anita Vandenbelt and Chandra Arya. I'd like to begin by reading a greeting from the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to lead I Lead 2017. Canadians across the country come together this year to celebrate our 150th anniversary of Confederation. This event gives us the opportunity for Canadians to take heart from the lessons of our past and apply them with a hopeful eye to the future. Our country has thrived, not despite our diversity, but because of it. And as we move into the next 150 years, it's important that we maintain that open and honest commitment to pluralism. It is my belief, the Prime Minister writes, that this is the best way forward as a nation. It is events like this that give me great confidence in our collective future. I lead aims to provide an open forum to discuss the issues that affect our Canadian Muslim community, especially our families and youth. This inclusive dialogue will give attendees a closer connection to each other and their faith, an outcome that will ultimately be to the benefit of everyone in the Ottawa Gatineau National Capital Region community. Thank you to the organizers and speakers at this amazing event. To all of you in attendance, please accept my warmest welcome and best wishes for a memorable conference, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. We all know that the objectives of the I-LEAD conference are to engage, empower, and support the Muslim community and to serve as a platform for the various mosques and Muslim organizations to work together in unison on one common project. This is an excellent opportunity to come together to reflect on the principles of peace and forgiveness and unity and it allows us to recommit to the core values of charity and helping those in need. It's wonderful to see so many of our neighbors here today. Through your jobs, your work, your entrepreneurship, your public service, your volunteer activities, 
You contribute to the vitality, the richness, the diversity, and yes, the wealth of our society. As your members of parliament, we are incredibly proud of your contributions to Canada. We would also like to thank the organizers for having us here today and for their continuing efforts to serve Muslims in the greater Ottawa community. This event is also an excellent opportunity to reflect on faith and sacrifice and goodwill. But it's also an occasion to remind ourselves that what pulls us together, what unites us most, is our common humanity. It reminds us that we are in this together, this project called Canada. When I was a child, my parents would tell their 10 children never to make the mistake of pulling apart. My mother would look at the dinner table, five kids on one side, five kids on the other, and she would say, if you pull apart, you will feel like five. But if you pull together, you will feel like 20. Thank you for giving your children the gift of faith. Thank you for all that you do to, to contribute to enhanced understanding and mutual respect. Because understanding and respect are the hallmarks of a civilized society. Thank you once again for your gracious, gracious invitation. We wish you and your family continued health, prosperity, and happiness. Have a wonderful conference. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. So, my name is uh, Mark Ford. I'm a superintendent with the uh, Ottawa Police Service. Uh, as well, we have Staff Sergeant uh, Dave Zacharias. Uh, and on behalf of the brothers and sisters within the Ottawa Police Service, I want to thank you for the invitation to bring greetings. It's a pleasure for me to speak with such a large group of young people who are committed to building vibrant communities. We share this commitment with you and know the value of community engagement to ensure safer communities. Of particular significance is the fact this conference is focused on engaging, empowering, and supporting youth such as you through the promotion of Muslim culture and civic engagement. The organizations of this great event should be proud of its annual success. And I would like to congratulate all of the organizations, the many volunteers involved in the planning and supporting of this event. In particular, I, I have just had the opportunity to hear a couple speakers, and uh, if that's indicative of what you have for the rest of the day, you are very fortunate. Recognizing the need to talk about challenges, share information, develop an understanding of how we can work together and ultimately partner, ensuring the communities that we live in together are safe it is a big task. It's hard work. It's a reassuring to see that your community has the same belief about continuing and strengthening these partnerships as we do in the police service. The Ottawa Police Service has a history of collaborating with diverse cultures and multi-faith communities to build trust and confidence in the communities that expect that from us. As well, we strive to ensure openness and accountability on issues that sometimes challenge community police relationships. I'm old school. I'm reading from paper. While there are many initiatives that are ongoing, there are still many more opportunities for us to work together. Some of these examples, when we talk about police community relationships, are by becoming involved with our Community Police Action Committee or our Youth Advisory Committee, volunteering, uh, no matter what that looks like. It could be associated with safety and security or it could be anywhere in the community. Participating in our commu cr uh, crime prevention programs. And one thing I'd like to say is maybe at one point someone out there in this room is considering a employment or a job in the future as a member of the police service in our community or elsewhere in this great country. We welcome the opportunity to continue with these opportunities and we are committed to ensuring that Ottawa Police Service reflects the community that we serve. We also understand that events abroad and more recently here in North America and sometimes close to home do create concern and in some instances fear. It is for all these reasons I cannot stress enough the importance of calling the police and letting us know if there are crimes occurring in your community or if you observe something suspicious, to let us know. 
When I was preparing for this, I, I looked at uh, the theme of this conference, with hardship comes ease. Ensuring that our communities are safe and secure is hard work, but it is work that is necessary. And most importantly, we must do this together. It is built upon learning about each other, engaging each other, inclusive of all those that live in the communities, developing relationships based upon values of respect and understanding. Together, we must work through this difficult task of safety and security for all. And, and I, I really uh, liked what I heard one of the previous speakers say, uh, speak to, is about the importance of talking. Um, and it's about arriving at that common acceptance, not tolerance, but acceptance of our differences. But that sometimes is hard work, but that's where it starts. We want more, to do more than assist you in times of need. We want to get to know one another. We want to work with you so that ultimately we can create safe communities that we live in. Once again, on behalf of the police service, uh, the chief, uh, Dave and myself, we look forward to continuing and strengthening this partnership between the Ottawa Police Service. And I wish you continued success with the remainder of your conference. Shukran. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon. Bon après-midi. Thank you very much for inviting me to say a few words here today. I'd like to bring greetings on behalf of Premier Kathleen Wynne and my caucus colleagues here in Ottawa. David McGinty and I are very fortunate to represent the community that we're in right now, Ottawa South. And we've often talked about this, but it's a fact that you may not know. Families from 125 different countries chose to make Ottawa South their home. They speak 90 languages. There are not many places in the world where that happens. We live together. Nous travaillons ensemble, nous étudions ensemble. We play together. You see it in our hospitals, you see it in our schools, you see it in the playgrounds, you see it in the grocery stores on Saturday morning. It's really very special. It's not perfect, but it's very special. And there are forces around us, we see them south of the border, that seek to push us apart. They want to push us apart. Those forces are hard to resist for everybody. The only way that we can resist those forces are together. And to do that, we must do what you're doing here today. And that's to look inside. Look inside ourselves. Look inside ourselves to know what it is that we need to do to keep us together, to make it better, to resist those things outside of us and inside of us that drive us apart. I Thank you very much. I want to wish you and your family all success here today. And as you leave here, thank you, merci, shukran. Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Donna Blackburn, and I'm a trustee with the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. And it's a great honor for me to be here today to bring greetings on behalf of the OCDSB. I have to say, um, before I became a trustee, I didn't spend a lot of time in the Muslim community or with Muslims, but I'm very proud to say, since I've become a trustee, I've made up for that. And I have to say, every time I spend time in the Muslim community, I feel cared for, I feel respected, and usually I get very well fed. <laughs> and uh, so... Uh, 
so when I'm out in the broader community and I, I hear negative things about Muslims, I get very, very angry. I get very upset because I know here and I know here those negative things that are being said are not true. <clears throat> and uh, after Quebec City, um, I, I live in Barhaven, so I uh, spend most of my time in, the, in the, the mosque in Barhaven. I call it my mosque, even though I'm not Muslim. But since then, I've gone to three different mosques around Ottawa, and I have felt that same caring that same respect and the same great food. Um, and I also would like to thank those members of the community who the, the Ottawa Carleton District School Board received many refugees from Syria. And as you can appreciate, there was a lot of need among those people. And when I reached out to your community, you answered the call and you provided food and other resources to help those families and those children integrate into your society. So from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for that. And in closing, I, I was really glad that we, were, we followed uh, a gentleman at, to, who spoke about uh, building bridges, and he was a very good speaker, and I, I certainly don't want to take away from what he, what he had to say, but in my experience, if you want to know how to build bridges, just, just visit a kindergarten class. You'll get everything you need to know. Thank you. So I just would like to thank uh, our uh, dear guests, our deputies, on behalf of the United uh, Muslim Organization, and on behalf of the ILEAD, uh, on the, bottom, the bottom, bottom of our hearts, we would like to thank you so much for showing up today. And this is a testimony of how much you care. And this is really an indication that we should continue this building, this building, bridge building, and we have to build on this for the future. We have a great relationship, and we, we intend to continue doing so. So thank you again, and we're looking forward to having you again with us. Thank you. Thank you.